Making a difference tonight, a Tennessee man who has helped dozens of young men during some of the most formative years of their lives. The number of boys he's helped is nothing short of staggering. Forrest Sanders spoke to him and two of the grateful young men he fostered. Wait's almost over. Someone's being driven down here soon to live at the home of Joseph Morton. Got the chores, watch clothes days. Try to do all I can to have things set up for the new kid when he come in. I tell the boys, we can't change what has happened, but we can take now, today, and move forward. For 20 years, Joseph was a juvenile officer at what was then called Woodland Hills Youth Development Center. He learned the teens in here were complicated, coming from complicated situations. Though this chapter closed for Joseph, he believed he could still help teens. He treated me like a man, you know, kind of, you know, young man. Carter Gregory was the first foster teen to be placed in Joseph's home. He kept it real with me and he was very realistic, you know, about what I should expect in the real world. I was the best person I feel like I've ever been. Oswaldo Ramirez was a foster teen here up until a year ago. In fact, going through the Youth Village's nonprofit over 10 years, Joseph has fostered about 85 young men. And sometimes when they come to my home, they're broken, they're lonely, they're mad. Joseph takes them in, immediately gets them a YMCA membership, takes them to Ross for new clothes, and begins the mentorship. They help them be good young men, be successful young men. I work with a company called Black Diamond Roofing Solutions. Uh, I'm a sales manager there. He said, I want to do something for you. He had a new roof put on my home, and I didn't have to pay one penny for it. Now, I can't repay him for the time that he allowed me to spend here with him, but it was a small thank you. Success stories continue. I'm going to Lincoln Tech right now to be an auto mechanic. I won't have to pay for <laughs> <laughs> I won't have to pay to get my car fixed no more. <laughs> no, I have to pay like everybody else. <laughs> with all the McDonald's that he spent on me, like, man, I owe him more. <laughs> Joseph likes to describe his approach to helping these young men like this. When I tell these boys, they're not in the boat by themselves, and we both pedal together. It makes me stick my little bird chest out to let me know that I've accomplished something. And so Joseph waits on yet another teen in the foster care system to come live here. He believes this will be yet another young man he can lead toward a better life. Love you, Joseph. Love you too.